wrestling fans, ECW Hardcore Revolution. ECW Hardcore Revolution was released in the year 2000 by Acclaim. This game was the first wrestling game from ECW, and it was also the first wrestling game to receive a mature rating. Indeed it was Glenn Dust. After Acclaim lost the WWF license to THQ and the WCW license was snapped up by EA, Acclaim were left without a wrestling license to continue their solid work after WWF Attitude. This left them with only one real option, and that was to take on Extreme Championship Wrestling's brand and go to work on it. The result was not good. Even after playing this game for a short moment, you'll quickly realise this is a step back for wrestling games on the N64, and critics, very rightly so, panned it. ECW is known as being extreme, unpredictable, and having an underground following. This should have given Acclaim the idea to take the game in a new direction, but what we were left with is a poor update from WWF Attitude. Graphically, the game is on par with Attitude. They have not improved the graphics and the presentation here is also very poor. You are presented with lots of options to tweak and play, but they all seem to fall flat. The menus are confusing and everything looks a little blurry and rushed to beat a release date. There is a nice roster size available, and if you're a fan of ECW, you'll be impressed with its depth, and there are also secret characters to unlock. New to the game is the ability to play barbed wire matches and Japanese death matches, although playing these game modes is not as exciting as it sounds. The creator wrestler mode is back, but nothing is added or improved over WWF Attitude, and there is also the option to create your own pay-per-view event. This is a nice touch, and it's actually quite fun customising your arenas, but it's hardly going to keep you coming back time after time. The dastardly one has something that he needs to say. When you finally get into a match, you'll be you instantly crazy? disappointed. Because ECW used real music, the developers instead tried to make cover versions for all the entrances, which comes across as very cheap and they are very poor quality. Also, what is shocking is the lack of crowd noise. During the matches they are deadly silent apart from a few people shouting out and then they seem to erupt into huge cheers from nowhere. ECW didn't have the huge arenas of WWF and WCW but this was a bizarre design choice. Jerry Styles adds commentary to the matches but his lines are limited and the game suffers from not having two commentators like in the previous acclaimed wrestling games. The game's engine was dated by this point and it really shows here. Pulling off moves is a chore and the game feels clunky and unfinished. Whilst the game does have a huge roster, none of the wrestlers come anywhere near to matching up to the personality and unique style of their real life counterparts. In 4 player mode, the game slows down making it almost unplayable, especially given the quick button presses needed to pull off moves. ECW Hardcore Revolution is hardly a revolution. It's more like a devolution. This game could have offered something fresh and unique given its mature rating and extreme nature of ECW. Acclaim however got lazy and this is a wrestling game that doesn't put up much of a fight. How do you remember ECW Hardcore Revolution? Like me were you eagerly anticipating this game and then felt ripped off when you played it? Or did you enjoy this game for its alternative approach and unique game modes? Let me know in the comments below and if you've enjoyed this nostalgia trip to the glory days of EC Dub, hit that like button. Until next time.